All right, guys, good morning. I am here at the Can Yachting Festival. I am excited. It's early in the show. Um, before the show gets open, everyone's still getting set up. But uh, I got here early to make sure I can do a first look walkthrough. I've been waiting for this vessel for over a year. I've been excited to see it. I've studied it. I know a lot about it, but I haven't seen it in person. I literally wanted you guys to be the first ones with me to see it. So I'm going to walk you through my first looks of the Pardo 60, the Pardo Endurance 60. Uh, amazing vessel, very unique. Um, pretty excited about it. Let's uh, let's turn you around. I just put eyes on it for the first time, so here we go. Let's see it. So we've got the Pardo line, Pardo 38, Pardo 43, the Pardo 50, and there she is in all her glory, the Pardo Endurance E60. It's folding side decks. You see them a lot on paper, you don't get to see them and once you look a little different once you see them in person, but my goodness, that looks nice. Get a little screenshot of here, what we got. It's the E60, 60 foot LOA. She's got Volvo twin IPS. Uh, stock is 600s. You can do the Volvo IPS 700s or the uh, biggest power they provide is the 800s, which I would definitely do. The 800s will get you about 25 knots or so in speed. Um, this boat is not meant for uh, uh, blowing your socks off with the wind and the hair. It's more about uh, endurance, length of traveling, getting uh, getting where you want to go in style. My goodness, look at these windows. I love this uh, the curvature here, and it's kind of folded out up here at the uh, part of the flybridge. So this is a, uh, a semi-displacement hull. So it has a displacement speeds at 10 knots. Uh, she's got uh, really great long range travel uh, options, but at a, uh, again, at full speed, she's about 25 or so knots. Um, we are actually going to get out and uh, test this thing later today. What? Yes, crazy. And uh, we'll kind of report back on some of the speeds we get. But in the meantime, Let's get aboard before it gets too busy here and walk this vessel. Really nice, spacious swim platform. This is a hydraulic swim platform which will lower. You can get chocks here for a tender, passerelle if need be, uh, depending on where you're boating. Us on the Great Lakes and whatnot probably don't need a passerelle for our docking setups, but uh, it makes sense here in Europe and, uh, and elsewhere. Nice steps up onto your beautiful cockpit area. Now this table, really nice inlays with the stainless steel. Nice teak tables here. This is nice laid out for a uh, for sun sunning. But what you can do here is these will come up and give you seating this way. And they also, as always, classy. Uh, Stitched embroidering. One more click, and we can lay them back down. This area is so open, and then when you go over here and open these side decks, uh, which is a really unique feature, look at how much extra space it gives you when uh, when out at anchor. Uh, really, really special. Look at this. Very, very cool. You got fridges. Uh, below, some extra, you don't have to go everywhere uh, to go get your uh, your next drink. Really nice, I like the stainless steel. Uh, nice chalk works. I'm not sure where we should go next, guys. So let's, uh, let's go to the bow. Um, really like the feature here with these side uh, folding side windows or rolling down side windows opens your uh, your space up into the galley. Uh, you can entertain um, out onto the uh, uh, your folding side decks or you uh, this way at least just get your airflow. It flows into the uh, to the cockpit and uh, and all around. So really nice use of uh, um, of those side windows. And look at that tinting windows. My goodness, this looks a cool looking boat here, guys. Nice high side decks. Again, it's at your waist here so you're not looking uh, uh, worried about guests and uh, family, friends, dogs walking uh, to and from the vessel as you're going uh, underway. So really nice feature. Look at this space up here. Uh, really like this. You still have your nice sun pad. 
then you've got a couch here at least two maybe three people sitting wide here look at this uh, view this raked window no bow works in the window no uh, stanchions here wide open this is a beautiful thing i can't wait to see that from the inside but uh, in the meantime let's keep looking out here nice seating backwards too so you can sit right here kick back and uh and really kind of take it in wow let's get a look at that sharp bow love that it's a slices through the water uh, again i haven't driven this vessel but driving the 38 the 43 uh, those things are a dream to drive they slice and dice through the water so really excited to see how these work uh, i like these uh you know a got the hard oil embossed in there but uh, they're go they go flush when you're not uh, in use but this way they keep it low profile kind of keeps the sleek lines you've got a uh a door for your side decks again which is nice from your helm station which we'll get to in just a moment we'll step down i noticed right in here you get storage for your uh for the poles for the safety poles that will go into the side deck so this is the other side deck that will fold down this is the starboard side port side's already folded down let's step into the galley here really nice it's got that new boat smell too really nice teak here floor to ceiling um, really clean counters i like what pardo does that they don't uh, over complicate we don't need crazy fancy styling of of anything let's just keep it clean simple this is beautiful very elegant i like this too look at this teak on the ceiling again very clean smooth lines i like this a lot um, look at this feel though with your uh, windows and again look at that forward facing uh, bow window is incredible nice entertaining area here you got ooh, this is nice smooth really nice leather here uh, your TV will pop up from here if you want it but why would you need a TV in something like this uh, you've got your area for your bottles your chilled wine bottles here I like these that are uh, kind of inset so they don't uh, stick out again keeps everything clean and flush nice u-shaped seating here plenty of room for your family and friends another nice uh, leather uh, wrapped in here table will open up both sides beautiful stainless steel table here that's a set table there but maybe you can get it uh, my goodness look at this okay so more of this leather really nice looks like some storage under here actually pretty deep storage there it's really nice that's really brings it really softens it up right there which is nice but wow look at that and here we go this is uh this is my place to be nice looking helm seat here this will fold down give you uh to sit up on here if you want a little bit more height again stitching is very very nice let's rock it back all right sit up here and look at your view as the captain of this vessel you've got great visibility here this door opens fully right here so this is a nice so you're docking i mean imagine this you're docking you're looking down the side of your boat know exactly where you're docking and your hand is still on the Volvo IPS joystick so you can control this thing it's got a bow thruster as well uh, your ability to control it from from there is awesome and then let's see really clean dash two big Garmin screens here I like that it's uh, not molded in it's kind of offset so it kind of just uh, sticks up a little bit but doesn't get in my field of vision these Bow works up here too. The windows are very high, so I can see uh, very far. Look at the, all that yacht show behind you guys there. So again, Volvo IPS uh, 600 is the standard, but uh, you can upgrade up to the Volvo IPS 800s, which uh, if you can do it, I would gives you a little bit more uh, giddy up and go if you want it now I was able to uh, pop up that TV just in case you wanted it and uh, before we go downstairs I'll show you 
these side windows just a click of a button brings it away rainstorm comes in or anything like that gets a little too cool for you and it comes right back down super nice all right so down to the staterooms again we get all this nice smooth teak We'll go forward, makes it nice and easy, right into the VIP stateroom. Now this is set up with two uh, berths, or you can make it into one bed that will come to the middle here. And uh, nice clean. I like these underlying, these lights under here, beautiful. Got some nice windows with portholes, opening portholes on both sides. Right, your own private state, uh, private head there. This is, comes up for a vanity. This will pull out. You can get your little vanity and stool nicely uh, kind of tucked away. I like these. These are nice, just clean look, simple. There's your shower head. Got your twin stateroom. Again, quite a bit of room here. This is kind of comes up a little bit, gives you a little more uh, entryway here. Really nice. Another opening porthole here, hanging closet. And this is the uh, your private entrance to your uh, bathroom here, or there's the entrance this way from the hallway, which is your uh, makes it the day head. Yeah, another nice look. A lot of space in here too. These are big showers. Get all the way in here. Look at this. Well, granted, I'm not the uh, biggest guy in the world, but I've got plenty of space around here, so you can see it's quite a uh, spacious shower. Good use of the angles here. Now to the master stateroom. Look at this. These walls, by the way, are it's about three plus inches thick. Really solid. Um, not uh, on a thinly made boat, that's for sure. Look at this. Stepping down into your master stateroom. My goodness. Really nice. TV back there. Nice sitting area. Again, we got dual port windows on both sides, which is really nice. Get your vanity area here. Storage in all of these areas. This is nice. This actually, I thought this was a glass for a second. This is a nice setup here. You got nice storage up here too, pretty deep all the way back here. Big. And that's nice too, it's not uh, lightly put together. Just built in safe as well. Good storage, good hanging closet. You can hear how solid those doors are, really nice. I like that these foot, uh, sorry, these uh, stairs are mirrored. So really nice little uh, kind of look, makes it a little nice and open. And your master head. A lot of counter space. Got your nice rain shower here. Big shower. Teak flooring. It's kind of a nice, it's a, not against the wall, so it keeps it nice and clean there. Nice uh, shower. Uh, port hole there as well, kind of open up the some fresh air. Got in here, little hidden door there. Washer dryer in your master. And then let's walk upstairs and go check out their flybridge. Uh, those steps. Stainless steel here. Hold them all these spots. I like that they keep it uh, everything pretty close to you here, right at the helm seat. So this is nice, uh, a nice feature there. Stepping out. Now this table. If you see here, there's a little gap in it. This will split out uh, further 
and match the width of the uh, back seating, which will then allow for three seats here, plus a seat there, seat there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the back side. That's an incredible amount of space there. And that's just at your cockpit seating area, not including your folding side decks or any of that. Now these folding side decks, people talk about these folding side decks a lot. You know, there's some new boats that are bringing them out. Now the difference, what makes them different, what makes everyone, you know, the quality, look at this, look at how thick this metal uh, steel is that is going to uh, hold, uh, that's the hydraulic two big hydraulic arms to lift this. This is a 600 pound uh, folding wing here. And when it's under, when you're underway, when it's folded up, these are two big stainless steel locking pins, which will, uh, one and then the other one's right there, which will lock it in place. When it does, this thing, there's no moving it. You don't know if it wasn't teaked and you didn't know it folded down. This thing as solid as can be, you, would, uh, you wouldn't even realize. Some other things that I didn't notice earlier, didn't show you earlier, this little window here. Uh, so when you close up the boat, this window will fold down and flat. And then these doors both close, so it's a fully flat door here. And then you've also got a cockpit docking station here. As if it wasn't easy enough at the helm station where you've got your uh, cockpit control, or your helm station controls there in the side door, you've got cockpit docking station here. And again, look at my arms right here on this joystick, and I'm able to look right down the line, know exactly how close I am to the dock when I'm backing down or pulling in. Um, that's a really nice spot there too. All right, up to the flybridge. Here we go. All right, let's walk up the stairs. Nice. All right. Well, look at this. Welcome to the Can Yachting Festival. Wow. Incredible. And then you've got again the Pardo 50, 43, 38 and the Van Dutch line that uh, they also now own as well. Beautiful, nice. Look at this area. Big seating up here. I like that it's uh, cushioned all the way around here. Plenty of room for your friends and family. You've got uh, fridges on both sides. Your helm station here, look at the view, man. You can see really, really nicely from here. If you're docking on this side, got good view of your side decks see how far uh, again how close you are to the dock and uh, uh, underway sitting at the helm station here you've got nice uh, space here it's not too close to the knees this is a uh, uh, you can move your steering wheel a little bit class at every turn really nice and let's look aft here this will move backwards so if you're not underway, you want to sit and relax and enjoy and chit chat with your friends. There's options here. They've got two chaise lounges this way. Uh, we can do modular seating here. Uh, there's some options that you can uh, fit it out to your uh, to your liking. There also is a folded up uh, bimini, uh, electric, uh, I'm sorry, hydraulically actuated bimini. Uh, again, look, nothing that they do is, is, is chintzy, is thinly made. This is a nice hydraulic system that will lift these uh, canopies to make sure you've got uh, some shade from the sun if you want it. Really nice uh, features here. I like this look. It kind of pops out here, then your glass goes this way. Good view of your bow. Like this. No, you're not going to really use this much, but uh, just the fact that it's teak looks very, very nice. I like that as well. Big Garmin domes, radar. Step down here, we'll walk you to the crew quarters. But it would be, you know, there's stairs here, otherwise, this is your, your passerelle. I'm gonna step down into the really lake. Again, how big this swim platform is. Got a thousand pound capacity swim platform here, so you've got a bigger tender if you want it. But uh, again, this door slides here, opens up nicely. And look at the space you have in here, too big. Uh, here they're fitted out as berths for, uh, for crew. Um, you can leave these spaces open and have your laundry back here. You've got a lot of storage space. A lot of times you have plenty of water toys and, and fenders, lines, all that jazz. So you could keep that in here as well, which, uh, which is how we would fit it out most likely. This is nice and tall here, so you've got a lot of headroom. 
So really nice, this can be used here. This is a nice uh, day head. Um, you can use this a little, as a shower too. So a wet head for your crew quarters or use it as a day head when you're out swimming. You're out on the swim platform. Instead of tracking water all through the boat, you step right down in here, really nice. And you've also got access to the engine room, so let's go check that out. Oh man, here we go. So, Volvo IPS 800s. Got your generator in the middle. You've got your uh, quick gyro stabilizer underneath here. Another Volvo IPS 600s. Water maker back there. A lot of space back here, actually. Really nice use of it. Two large fuel tanks. Got all your electrical set up here. I like that it's even uh, labeled here. Uh, and then you've got obviously from the swim, pl uh, sorry, from your cockpit area, uh, access to the to the area here. So really, really nice. And because we're in the French Riviera, we'll use the passerelle, because why not, right? And again, there she is. Guys, thank you for joining me. This has been a pretty exciting day for me, and it's just getting started early morning here at the show. But uh, Pardo 60, we've been thinking about this boat for a while. We've got one on order coming in to the Great Lakes uh, this next season here, next spring. Pretty pumped about it. Uh, look out for it, and they're gonna be taking over super super cool boat and uh cheers <laughs>